All right, I promise. I think I'm going to do this uh, right after this. I will go and order a proper tripod because even I was trying to put the camera exactly where I want it to and it just keeps like swaying like some drunken sail. It's just like, what in the world's going on? All right, so we're going to do things. I'm going to try to slow down due to the fact that everything's so flipping fluid here. It's not funny. And I'll kind of show you the... It's a crazy CRT for sure. Loosely based on the blue and the gray, I'll put it in the in the uh, description, the SPI resource download page or whatever it is. It is fantastic. My sweet spot, I'm going for four to one, not three to one. I'm trying to like uh, model uh, the the fact that they were they keep saying that um, you know the defense was a uh, and you were in the advantage basically during the Great War. So. Um, it seems like at, in all as, in all aspects, even like at the very beginning, it's not just about the trench. I mean, my God, the machine gun did some pretty pretty interesting things to people that were unawares. Okay, and I'll pop it back on. Yeah, I'll also swallow, you know, otherwise I'll choke. Um, attacker eliminated, attacker step loss, defender step loss, and attacker step loss. Defender eliminated and attacker step loss. I know it's pretty crazy. Defender retreat and step loss and attacker step loss. Ineffective defender retreat or step loss. Defender retreat and a step loss. Defender eliminated. Yes, so here we go and uh, I'm just going to have to take my time. The blue team is uh, the blue sides first and like I said I'm trying to not move this infantry, that cavalry, that's a reactionary cavalry and I'm going to leave that um, uh, infantry there and we're just going to move on in and I have to remind myself that the headquarters and the artillery can't do anything. It's the artillery that's the worst. I mean, I'm going to have to let it move to or something like that and it still can't move because it's beyond ponderous. It's like crazy, but I'm just going to stick with it for now and we'll see what happens. Uh, the headquarters do have a um, logistics line of four movement points so it's not the end of the universe if they can't uh, keep moving as long as you don't get too far away from them if I want to start um, you know putting in some uh, replenishment at the very beginning of the turn uh, or uh, uh, putting in some reinforcements at the very end so it's not too far as you can see one two three so I'm okay here you see what I mean one two three I don't have to go anymore I'm good. These guys I was not expecting, well I don't supply cavalry anyways, but I wasn't ex expecting to supply this dude. He's kind of like on his own. I'm not going to try to replenish. I'm focused on this bit. That's the way I'm looking at it. So the headquarters is fine as far as I'm concerned. We're not dealing, oh shoot, uh, because it's through the center of a uh, square. So I have to be aware of that because the marsh is um, a minus uh, is three movement points to get across. So I'll have to be very cognizant of that. And you can't go through the corners, it's through the sides. So it's probably a good idea to move my headquarters up one more notch. Yeah, I think so. That's what I'll do. I'm still out of range, essentially, to do anything, so it's okay. I just gotta make sure that someone can't get around, such as their cavalry. Okay, it's over there, so I'm okay. Uh, I don't wanna start because I've got zone, I, uh, sorry, I'm starting to do it again. Threat zones, um, I can do some things here. Hmm. Well, if I go here, he's fro, yeah, okay, we'll do that. I'll move up, and I've got the lake to help me out. All right, so we'll do that, but I'm stopping because I want to get some people to help me out first, and you're only a reserve troop. I'm going to move the headquarters up, and if I, uh, no, he can only get to here because of the uh, two movement point cost for the river. I'm okay. I'm just going to move the artillery up, and because um, he's on this side, if they try to attack anyways, as, as if, well, he could with the cavalry, mm, yeah, but then it would be from here to here. Um, then I would, if he attacked straight across here, the artillery would have the choice of defending with the uh, the swamp. It's not going to happen. I'm certainly going to move my elite troops up as much as possible. Come and get me if you want, as far as I'm concerned. And I'll do that over here as well. But that's it, as far as I know. Don't worry, I will continue until we get some combats. 
So that's the, and I can't, not, can't do anything with uh, reinforcement or whatever. So I'm just going to move this little dude because I'm not really using um, victory points or whatever yet. Okay, let's look at what they're doing here. The flipping hell, they're moving quick, quick up. Um, and I, wait a flipping minute. I'm allowed to go through, that's true. I'm allowed to go through, um, my friendly units as long as I don't end up in them. And if that's the case, and I don't move my artillery, I can get a plus two, my, two to my die roll. I'm good with that. And now I'll freeze him across with, uh, yep, I'm good with that. We'll just, um, we're going to change tack because <laughs> I'm like, okay, I know where you're going. I'm not like I'm going to uh, reorient uh, things here. But I think I'm actually going to move this dude over here. Why? Because I can still use artillery support perhaps if somebody does something funky or I need to do something funky, I don't think so. But I'll, I'll leave you there, I think that's okay. And now we're really gonna try to shore up that river f thing. Um, hmm. 12 though, eh? Yep, it is. He's coming for my city. Hmm. Cavalry, you stay there in the marshes, please, and you stay there. And I think we're just going to... hunker down for a little tiny bit, because I can't really see anything else I want to do. Um, I'm just going to like... You want to come towards us? Fine, I've got the river. We'll see what you can do. So now it's turn three. This is making sense. And then I'll put it into the blue. But we're certainly going to get into combat now, I'm pretty darn sure. And I have to start reminding myself about... Um, yeah, I didn't uh, say there's like... Well, I did. I said you can... Like it's only one hex... Or, sorry, one square to one square once you get into enemy threat zones. So I have to be careful here. But uh, I don't... Well, it doesn't look like that person's going to cross the river. But I don't want to move my reserve troop here because it looks like he may start to um, have some issues with my headquarters, and that's not a good thing. All right, so I'm going to have to just continue trucking along here with my artillery. No choice. God, I'm playing this so cautious, it's not funny. So I don't know what... I want to get my artillery up there, man. So we'll move you to here. Shoots and ladders is still going to... No, we'll stay here, please. Thank you very much. And, or could I have... Boink. Boink. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. So that's one. Hope you're cool with that. And then I'm going to move this guy over here. Because he can get the broken terrain. Um thingamabobs. Uh, and I did not move my cavalry so that person can still have some reserve movement if necessary. Do I want to do something ridiculous? Hmm. Interesting. I think I might. Let's do some funny stuff. One, two, three. Let's see what the uh, the green side. Um, hold on, am I? No, 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 no. I'm I'm still uh, like I'm uh, sorry. I'm just like I'm playing both sides, so I, I, my mind's drifting back to the green. Yep. Okay. And it's the blue turn, Chris. The, it's the blue turn. All right. So we're gonna have some combats here, um, due to the fact that I'm only gonna get a minus one now, not a minus two, because I've got some of my troops. Um, across the river. Not all of them, but I do have some, so that's not too bad. Uh, shoots. But they've got a minus uh, two to the, and I can't use my artillery, they're out of range. Okay, so it's not gonna be the best of things to happen here. 
something bad may happen for me. But you never know, I may be able to force them to retreat. Should I have been a smarter human being and attacked the cavalry, which would be an auto retreat, perhaps, um, unless they wanted to chance it because of the um, uh, the minus two to the, my die roll because of the swamp. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because I decided to go this way. So 20 against an eight. Uh, that was This was not a good, well, like I said, we're going to have some fun here. So that's uh, two to one odds. We always go in favor of the defender as far, uh, I was thinking about doing the rounding rule, but I'm, I'm yet again thinking about the Great War. So I'm going to go always with the defender, even it's going to drive certain people nuts. It's like, come on. I'm at you know 1.8, and you're still going to say I'm I'm going towards uh, the defender. It's like yep, sorry. All right, so that's two to one odds on this guy with a minus. Hold on here. So I get a minus two from the swamp and an additional minus one because we're not all across on the side of the river. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully you can see the um, the die roll. Like I said, I'm not going to do a full on, but at least we're going to get some combats and people can see what... Oh, Jesus Christ, that's... Well, not really, because that uh, starts showing me some of the... It's a one. I don't know if you got to see that. Okay, so that was... Yeah, this is not going to be good. So, that was two to one odds, and I hit a one. But I've got a minus three. So we shift... Oh, my God. One, two, three, the attacker is eliminated. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Holy et, that was not well. I almost feel like... <laughs> Sorry, it's the blue colors. I'm just thinking about the French just showing up with their red pants and whatnot, and the Germans are just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Pull the trigger. Oh my God, that just really affected things like that was my vanguard my oh well i had to play this game out <laughs> play it out but that, that's like a major disaster i'm just like what the hell just happened there uh now i'm retreating monstrously due to the fact that the green side can just do whatever the hell they want but i can't because i gave up my reserve movement for my cavalry and they had Nope, the headquarters didn't move. Or, you know, they did move, I think. Uh, t yes, because I moved up because I was thinking, oh, shoots and ladders. This is, well, let's play the next turn and see what the green side can do. And that's only turn three. Maybe I only need ten turns. Oh, my God. This is nuts. Okay, let's start eating people up for breakfast. That's the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm starting to look at it. It's like, well, don't get too ahead of yourself, but I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Um, are you crazy? Okay, so, well, I don't want to expose these guys. Okay. Are you... Okay, let's just show she haven't even got a city yet. All right. So... I want to freeze him. There's one movement point. I have to figure that out as well. So that's one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Yep, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to. I don't have a lot of people, that's the problem, and I'm like, you can't just go hog wild, like I, mm, but they're of use, no use there, unless I wanted to start wrapping around, no, because he's going to get me that way, I don't have any, like an extra person to, no, it doesn't make any sense, okay, so I'm going to move the artillery here. I guess that's the best way to go about it. I can make an attack if I wanted to. That's three to one odds. Well, let's do it for fun. Uh, so that's uh, three to one odds. Could I still... Um, well, it doesn't matter. It's not... I'm, I'm thinking like Dervelkrieg here. 
It's like, can I supply the attack? It's like, no, that's not the way it works. Um, this guy supplies your attack in a weird way. Okay, but I can't get to him because he moved. Okay, so the elite infantry here is going to um, attack these uh, reserve units at three to one odds, but they get to choose the broken train, so I'll get minus one to my die roll. Okay, Let's see what happens. Oh my god, that was a disaster and a half for the blue side. Holy smokes. Okay, it's a four. I'm a three to one. Let's see what happens on there. Yeah, <laughs> I think there's going to be some chit chatting about what's going on here. So, three to one, I said, and a four. And remember, I said the sweet spot for me is going to be four to one odds at this moment in time. So, that's a defender uh, retreats and gets a step loss, and the attacker gets a step loss with obviously an option to advance after combat. Okay, so I will move that guy to a two, and I'll turn my elite troops into an eight, and I'm more than okay to advance into that spot. More than okay. So now it's going to be turn four, and I'll put that off to the side, and that's that. Hope that made a bit of sense, uh, or not, and if it didn't, uh, for goodness sake, say something. I'll zoom. No, I don't need to zoom in a little bit. What I need to do is go and get a proper tripod. All right, hope you're having fun. See ya.